You ready? Motivation. Motivation. Monday. Motivation. Motivation. Monday. Hey, motivation. Monday. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. Okay. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Barry, host Mo Barry, and welcome back to this channel. So today is a special day. Today is my birthday, and I have a message for you that I hope will help you in your day-to-day -day life. And um, it's something that we all need to um, stop doing. <laughs> so today's topic is, let us not be anxious for anything. Let's not be anxious for anything. And being that it's 2021 and we all have experienced 2020, <laughs> experiencing a year like 2020 can make you feel quite anxious and quite ready to get back to living life the way you used to. Live life the way you used to. That's what we all want and we can't seem to get it fast enough. But I'm just here to tell you that despite everything that we've been through last year, let's not be anxious for anything, okay? And uh, that topic comes from, or this topic comes from the Bible verse um, verses in Philippians chapter four, verses six through eight. I don't know it offhand, but basically it's just a message about being content and not ever being too anxious for anything. So I often find myself a little too anxious for something, especially something that I really want. And what happens is my anxiety ends up transferring that I am having a lack of something. You know, um, I'm about to kind of take it to the, to the, not astrology, that's not the word, but take it to the uh, law of attraction standard, okay? When you start becoming anxious about something or you start um, over fantasizing about something that you want, the universe kind of takes it that you have a lack of and instead they give you that of what they give you back what your energy is letting it know and that is that you have a lack of so you continue to have a lack of and you never end up quite getting what you want and I think that's oftentimes because we are too anxious we are just sadly have been programmed to gotta have it now everything from fast food to God only knows what. <laughs> we have been programmed and we have been trained to gotta have it now. And that causes great anxiety in us. And um, like I said, I have just come to find that when I become over anxious about something, when I become a little too obsessive on something or wanting something, nine times out of 10, I don't end up getting it. That's probably my life story. <laughs> I just don't end up getting it. Um, so going back to Philippians chapter four, and I'll put the verse here if I can. It's pretty long, but basically God is just telling us not to be anxious for anything, you know, but instead through, through prayer and petition, I believe, and with thanksgiving in your heart, make your requests made known and then let it go. Let it go. You don't have to lament over it over and over and over again you know let go and let god all right let go and let god and once you do that you will find yourself so much more at peace um just less anxious and more in tune with the moment where you're at in your day-to-day -day life in the moment with other people or with what are, whatever it is that you're doing. You just find yourself more in the moment and more present and more grateful for the present that is a gift. The gift of now. You have been given the gift of now. But a lot of us, we forget that. We become over anxious. We become obsessive about something. And we actually forget that we do have the now. 
And that is our gift. So we have to be present and be grateful and just make your request made known unto God in Jesus name <laughs> and then let it go let it go and a lot of people who may not be um considered you know Christian they use the rule for law of attraction but they don't realize it's the same thing it's still bible God tells us the same thing you know acting as if that quote as if um Act as if you all, you've already got it. Wake up every day with a grateful heart as if you've already got what it is that you want. And the universe will take that as, oh, they're grateful. Let me give them more. You know, there's no lack. There's no room. There's no time to feel that I'm lacking something. I'm not lacking anything because I do have now. I'm alive. I'm present. I'm doing something now. Okay, so that is my birthday message to all of you who are listening. Just don't be anxious for anything. Let us not be anxious <laughs> for anything, you know, and let us just be grateful for the gift of now. Let us be present in whatever it is that we're doing and just give God the glory because it could be worse. It could be worse and you're not lacking. You're not lacking anything. So... Like you, I have to take my own advice <laughs> because I do find myself obsessing over some things, you know, but like I said, I don't end up getting it, you know, so I have to practice just remaining grateful no matter how sad I might be, no matter how um, thirsty <laughs> I might be for something. Just be grateful for the now, be in the moment, and you might just be surprised that you will end up getting what you want. And I have to take my own advice and I so look forward to getting my heart's desire. So I hope this birthday message um, brought some joy to you, brought some peace to you. And just understand that you do have the now. You have the now. You are now in the moment. You're alive. I pray you're well. And that is so much to be grateful for because not many people have that. Not many people have that. Okay, so uh, stay tuned, you guys, for the next video. And as always, peace.